Printing black PLA on a black surface doesn't work well for video. My time lapse camera. Still, we have here a car that I've designed to go on the tether. Just to go round in circles. And it'll be propeller driven using the. Uh, Got what it's called now. Typical. Why can't I remember things nowadays? Hi guys. This power up has been laying on my desk for uh well most of last year actually keep planning to do something useful with it. It's designed to go on a paper aeroplane to power it. It's a super capacitor at the front. Obviously spins the propeller at the back. It's a pusher propeller. So it's not the right weather to go out flying things at the moment. So I've designed this tethered car. So the idea is these little bits go on here, then a wheel goes on, and then another one of them goes on. And I should think the easiest thing is if I just melt the end flat, put a cap on it, then it can't slide off again. I could glue it. Um, and we might need to put rubber tires on it if it slips too much. And then this bit. Got a little slot under there to make it the right thickness. So that goes through there and clips on there. I might need to put a bit of tape over there or something just to make sure it doesn't slop around and actually hit the wheels. That, that might be a sensible thing to do. Just, just put a bit of tape over there, hold it out of the way. I could have made it wider. So there was less chance of hitting the wheels, but I didn't. We do have clearance. We've got about five millimeters clearance either side, which should be plenty. So yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll put the wheels on. I'll just melt the ends over, put a bit of tape on there to stop it falling off, uh, hitting the wheels and we'll use a paper clip in one of these holes to tether it and run it round in the conservatory. I haven't even checked whether that still works. Well we'll find out in a minute won't we? Wheels in place, a bit of tape on the back to stop the motor bouncing around. So we'll give it a test. And the way this works, you hold it on here, listen to the engine note. While it's charging the supercapacitor, the engine note gets faster and faster. When it doesn't get any faster, that's when it's fully charged. And that's about it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, look at that. 11. That was neat. We'll give it one more go. 
I'm just wondering whether to change the hole. Let's see if it makes any difference. If we move forwards one. position of the tether makes a difference as to how easily it goes around the circle. Now, now you see, I've got it too far back and it's spinning out. So I had it right first time. We could just try one the other way. Yeah, that's going to be totally wrong. Ah, looks like I had it right first time. That makes a change. So we'll go give it one more go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's pretty consistent, isn't that? Yeah, pleased with that. That works. Just a close up. You can just see where I melted the ends of the axles over to hold the washers in place. Yeah, that was a bit of fun. I will put a make a proper aeroplane again for it sometime. So say that's been laying on my desk for most of last year.